all right so following the same idea let's go to our out and let's create a, another node for our particles and let's drop down another redshift custom node over here and this can be our pop and let's go back to our object network and let's create a node here a render node for the particles so let's go to our scene view let's go inside the effects and let's gra grab our rndr pop and create a new node here so drop down a geo node and uh, RN this will be rndr pop step inside place down an object merge and place this here okay and because we want to render these particles as spheres let's go to the redshift obj tab over here and let's go to particles set this render uh, object as particles and maybe set the global scale multiplier to 0.1 let's make a test render for this and so we will want this node to be occluded by the ground as well so let's select both of these nodes so rndr ground and the pop let's copy these let's go to our out and inside this pop node let's drop these inside the objects tab inside the forced objects okay and also let's grab our light and if i go to my redshift render view let's select our pop node and let's render this and see what we get so here we have our particles and let's maybe go back and now we can sort of adjust this global scale multiplier let's maybe try a value of 0.5 so make these a little bit uh, bigger okay and let's also set up a material for these so let's stop this and let's go to our bat let's create a new rs builder and this will be pop and like i mentioned when we were creating the particles we will want to use the color that we gave them when we created them so let's drop down an rs point attribute and this is by default looking for the cd which is good and I will just plug this here in the base properties inside the diffuse color and inside the material let's go to the reflection and I will just uh, make this rather rough so maybe 0 0.85 and all of these other settings I will leave as default let's go ahead and grab this pop node and drop it for our RNDR pop node over here inside the material and let's do another preview for this so now we also have some color variation uh, within the particles and one final thing that I want to do is also randomize the scale of these particles so I can just go inside here where we merged our particles and I will drop down an attribute randomize and I want to randomize the P scale and I will do a custom ramp and let's fit these values let's fit the zero value to maybe 0 0.2 and i'll leave the one value to a value of one and i want to adjust this ramp a little bit let's maybe use a uh, b spline for the interpolation here and drop this middle handle here towards the other end so most of these now will get a scale of uh, 0 0.2 but some of these, maybe 10% of these, will have a value, a p scale value, maybe closer to 1. Okay, and let's preview this node and let's do another render. So, because we replaced the p scale value with this global scale, uh, maybe I can set this to 0 0.1. So, this is inside the attribute randomize. Okay, and let's maybe take a look. I think this is looking pretty good. And I can say that I'm happy with this look. So since we will need this as a separate pass, let's go ahead and do the same thing that we did with the smoke pass, which is to turn this ground uh, invisible. So in our out tab, we want to use the same settings we use for the smoke. So over here where we set the force mat to be ground, let's copy this and let's also copy this mat params null over here. So now if I re-render, we should only have our points that are obscured by the ground all right and let's also see what passes we are interested in here let's go to the output tab let's go to the aov manager and we will want to only use a shadow pass here and if i go to my shadows 
Again, where this is white, there's basically a shadow there. And when we invert this, this will now turn into our shadow pass. And for the geometry itself, we will just overlay the beauty pass, which also has uh, an alpha as well. So we just need to merge this over inside of Nuke and it will work. And then we will do the color grading inside of uh, Nuke directly. So this will be good for our pop pass. And inside the Redshift tab over here, again, I will want to disable global illumination. I will leave the quality setting to medium, which will be fine. And inside the output, let's go to the common. And don't forget to set the destination for this. So let's set this up. So this will be pop.dollarf.exr. And I will set the frame range to be the full frame range. And also, I think we have to do this for the smoke as well. So set this to render frame range. Let's go to the Redshift. And again, I will disable global illumination, leave this at medium, go to the output and go to the common and let's set a path. So this is smoke.dollarf.exr. And this will be our debris. 